Well, some morale from Black from TV. Hello, ladies. How's it going? <laughs> Good. How are you? Good. Now, neither one of you were born when the first movie came out. So at what point did you start watching the first film or did you have to play catch up when you got cast in these, the new one? I don't think Sonya? we were born because you're born the same year as me. We're both born 99. 99. Yeah. yeah. Um, I only saw the movie for the first time a few years ago. And then when I got the part, I watched all of the movies um, and became obsessed. But I know you have a history with the school. Yeah, yeah. sort of. I, um, I watched it. I was probably way too young to watch it for sure. Um, but my older brothers made me watch it when I was like eight. And, um, and I was terrified. And then I, I think I really like fell in love with it later, a little bit later, probably when I was 16. Um, <laughs> and just been a fan ever since. Now you got fans of the genre? You know, do you watch, do you like watching slasher horror films or is it, this is just a job and I'm in this movie? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I love horror film. It's one of my um, favorite genres and uh, so much so that I forced the cast to watch two of my favorite horror films while we were filming on this projector in a, in a conference room. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm, it's, you know, I'm, it's like, it's a love and hate relationship because I love horror, but I'm so scared <laughs> of anything that's like a jump scare, blood, gore. And I think that's like also what draws me to it. And that's why I wanted to do this. Cause I'm so, I, for me, it was like stepping out of my comfort zone and doing something that's really int intrigued me. And, um, and I think Scream is really the first, the first one, the first slasher film that I fell in love with. And that kind of got me to, to love the genre in a sense. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I love watching more horror films. Like you've shown me a couple <laughs> that I really loved and um, I'm looking forward to like growing my repertoire. <laughs> you know, the thing about the Scream franchise is that outside of the three leads who always keep coming back, you never know who else is gonna survive. And no spoilers given, but you know, as actors, when you're reading, you're in a Scream movie. The question goes, it's like, it's not a question of like, who's going to die, but it's how they're going to die. You know, that's the thing you remember about these screen movies. It's like, okay, it's a guess as to who the killer or killers may be. And it's a question of how they're going to go out. And no spoilers given, but did you think about that as you were reading the script? Yeah, I think these <laughs> movies are notoriously gory. And so it's, it's crazy to read some of those things. Yeah. Hmm. I think what's really fun is like, I there's so many iconic kill scenes that you remember from the Scream films. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite one was Tatum's death scene with the garage door <laughs> opening up and like killing her. I think that's so iconic. So um, this film has some pretty crazy, intense, I think memorable and iconic mm -hmm. kill scenes that um, people will love and remember for sure. Mm -hmm. And what was it like, obviously, when you're on the set, having seen the other movies and you get to act opposite Courtney and David and Nev. <laughs> Mind blowing. <laughs> um, for me, at least, I don't know. I felt intimidated and just really lucky and, and grateful to be there. And um, I look up to them and admire them. So, uh, really cool opportunity. Yeah. Well, let's hope. Well, let's <laughs> hope each one of you makes it out alive. You know, he's away. We'll talk to you hopefully you know, each in your next project. Keep it going. Stay up, stay alive. Thank Take care. You. Thank you. You too.